Welcome we everybody just... to Fargonauts. Today we're watching another oh. episode of Twin Peaks. Yeah. Yep. I'm here with my broochy boys. Hi guys. Hi. Also, I already broached in. Uh, we're on part eleven. Episode called "There's Fire Where You Are." Mm. Does it walk with you? Oh wait, no. There's fire where you are going. I missed the going part. Eric. What? Does it walk with you? I mean, maybe. It, it, instead of it, to... instead of it being it, well, I'm I'm just saying like instead of it being a definitive. Uh, exclamation that somebody would exchange at like a Catholic or Christian church oh, and being yeah. like, fire walk with you and also with you. Oh, and also with you, yeah. It, it's more <laughs> of a question of like, does fire walk with you? And you, 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 that's like a question that is exchanged between Twin Peaks fans and it's like, does fire walk with you? And then you talk about how how you carry fire with You're you every day. I don't know, man. I'm yeah. reaching for straws. Yeah. We're, we're broaching. We're just broaching. But I carry, I carry the fire deep inside my holes deep inside your chocolate star yeah yeah ew um <laughs> so do you guys recall what happened uh, in the last episode Laura is the one we kind of made it a tribute to Catherine E. Coles log lady log lady uh, yeah cold one well cold one for log lady cold ones for Margaret we know yeah. that um, Richard beat up Miriam in the trailer. We know that Dougie got yep. laid by Janie E. That was pretty great. <laughs> damn right, dude. We got well, some he... uh, Johnny Speed or Johnny. <laughs> yeah. Johnny Quick. Yeah. Johnny Quick. Richard also went, yeah, yeah and, and accosted his grandmother and uncle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, dude, Johnny. You're just having a How hard are you time today? entering the Speed Force, you yeah. know? Mm hmm. Oosh. And Broadshirt, do you think that do you think that uh do you think that the bear is his like uh in some way mixopitalic where it's like his like Hello Johnny, how are you today? And he's <laughs> I, I think <laughs> he entered the speak force and so. this thing is, is is appearing to him. I think more so it's a lightning rod for the speed force. Okay. Interesting. You know what I mean? It draws him. It draws sure. the speed force in. Sure. I can wait for him to a conduit. Um, and then um, Albert actually went on a date with the lady from the morgue. Ooh. Hell yeah, dude. That was kind of cute. Fucking Mel from Fraser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what else? Looking, looking back on that, though, like, you, you, you could kind of pick out a couple little moments from the slight interactions that they had where he was, like, commenting directly on, on her work or... or Making it clear that he also worked in like forensics. Yeah, and they're both kind of quippy too. Like they both had jokes, jabs yeah. at each other. Yeah. Um, um, Ike the Spike got arrested, and the the two uh, casino goons. The one got Mitchum smacked. Brothers. Yeah, one got smacked in the eye by Candy. That was pretty great. With the with the TV remote, yeah. You could I not console like Candy. Candy. Yeah, she was just beyond help. Candy, Mandy, and Sandy. Yeah. Candy's nuts. Mandy's nuts. Sandy's nuts. Please. <laughs> no. Um, what else happened? Anything anything major? Um, what about Mr. C? I'm I'm kind of blanking on like the stuff with Mr. C so last episode. If there we was know that much... Richard uh, beat up Miriam. Miriam said that she saw Richard run over that kid and sent a letter. And then we know Chad intercepted the letter at the station. Yeah, um, that was a big thing. Oh, last episode we definitely uh, we got confirmation that Tammy Preston brought the information to Albert and uh, Gordon that like Diane had sent that text message. Right. So they they know that Diane is uh, you know suspicious. I think I don't. That's pretty much where we should leave it right now, because then things yeah. will things will start coming back to us as we watch this next one. So without mm -hmm. further ado, we're gonna jump to the next one. Here we go. Hey, you're not the only one coming. Oh yeah. So in this episode, we got a look at what was her name, Miriam, the girl that got beat up by Richard. 
and these yes. boys that were playing catch uh, stumbled oh, yeah, upon her coming away out. out. Yeah, and I don't want to really show her, but like, yeah, yeah, there it is. She's wow, dude. looking <laughs> pretty haggard. So that's sad. That was a horrible is part it? of that. Yeah. Um, Terrible. Then we had the what I Crap. what I call the Shelly Shelly Leo analog moments here, like mm -hmm. the "We live here." This is where we live, Shelly's daughter. <laughs> and uh, yep, Shelly shows up at the trailer park, and she jumps on the hood of her daughter's car. Like well, it's because thrown off. Oh wait, isn't it like not her car? Or is it her car? Well, she wants to stop her daughter from... You know, she wants to talk to her, but she like yeah. just peels away. I don't remember whose car it is, but she yeah, she's just trying to get her daughter to... Like, hey, I think it is. It her. might actually be Shelly's car that she just called it's her mom. incredibly important. Just to steal the it, car. This one detail. Yeah. Then we have... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. HDS plays his magical flute. Yeah, he, summons the, boy, he summons the car. Look at Shelly's face, too. Just, he doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> my daughter just stole my car. This and this man, man is playing, playing a flute. goddamn flute next to me. <laughs> Being a whistle boy. Um, so yeah, they can a whistle boy by me. Get in the Volkswagen. Careless whisper. And then uh Careless Whistler. Kind of a good moment. And yeah. then we had um Yep, Shelly calling in and we have Harry and Sand talking to maybe dispatch he's yeah, yeah. he's he's making the, the the call that matters oh stairwell yeah. guys like put me through the sure the deputy Briggs or whatever fuck. give me the biz this was a great scene I, I really enjoyed this but what we found out is that this is who's that Wilson I forget who that is who is that Bradcho you tell uh, me it's uh um. Oh shit! That's yeah. fucking Alia, uh, Atreides. Yeah, there you go. And that's Damn. not that's not Paul. That's um. <laughs> no, that is not Paul. If that was Timothy Chalamet, though, that'd be in, like an insane level of Meta. coincidence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was her name is like Alicia or something? In real life. Oh yeah, I forgot her actual her name, but yeah. Welcome, we Alicia. That was something that we stumbled upon, right? Who stumbled upon that? That it was, she was in. This. I think I think it was me. Okay, because for, yeah, for some yeah. reason or another, I was in the episode, and then we were trying to find her. Uh, well, for I some found, reason like, or other, I like, yeah, just looked up something about David Lynch's Dune, saw who played Alia, and was like, wait, that name's in this episode. What the fuck? <laughs> gotcha. Um, interesting. Maybe scene. she'll show up again. Yeah. Then and we get then to this crazy this. scene where a few broad shows are lurking. Was okay. Oh yeah, just dude. real quick. It up. Was this? Uh, is this supposed to be in like South Dakota somewhere? I yes. forget where the coordinates that Shaggy gave them like led yeah. to. Yeah, this is in Buckhorn. Oh. This is okay. Alicia Witt, by the way. Hmm. That's the actress's name. Um, we had a. Oh, oh. yeah, dude. Where there's a bunch of me's just creeping around, dude. This thing yep. is bad. He's dead. <laughs> Asa. Oh, <thought> it. <laughs> <laughs> so, this scene gets really crazy. Like, um, I forgot all that was happening, but we see... You've never seen so many broad shows. Gordon and Albert yeah. um, both have this experience where Gordon maybe sees a tear or maybe a wrinkle in time. Who knows? Um, a portal. By Madeline Langell. Yeah, but like you, you fucking know... terrible movie, Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> How dare they? Why did they cast her? So he stares Lucky up at Goldberg. it. This must be that kind of um, grove. Like a nexus. Yeah, the nexus kind of like space where the evil things are kind of flowing through into our reality. And... Well, clearly, Broadshows are able to get through. So there's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it, but I, I mean that. I mean that genuinely. Like, we're calling them Broadshows, but the the firemen. No, uh, yeah, the woodsmen. woodsmen? Or no, the woodsmen. the woodsmen. Yeah, the woodsmen are are able to like be there. So 
clearly something's going on here. So yeah, it is like a Nexus portal gateway, you know, like to... a bunch of brachos having fun, dude. <laughs> yeah, just let them have fun. Let them come in. Broad stay out. Let just them... a few guys getting silly. All right. <laughs> let them come through the hole. A few guys getting silly. <laughs> a few hole. dudes being loose. Let them come through the big butthole in the sky. Just let them be silly, dude. Oh, it goes in the hole. Comes out the hole. Let boys be boys. So mm -hmm. the boys are showing up, and then uh, for some reason we get Matthew Lillard. Oh, there's some shots of the, the boys. Well, no, because it, this is like <laughs> what... Uh, it opens up into like a black hole that Gordon sees, and then he gets a flash yeah, of, of some woodsman here. Like, dude, we're some coming through. Aw, yeah. uh, dude. <laughs> I saw it, dude. I, I did not stick a dig. Oh, excuse me, dude. Um, so then we have a very interesting scene where Matthew Lillard's character starts vibrating like vigorously ah. like is the broad shows are coming to tickle his brain a little bit yeah, dude. give him yeah, a, give him, give him a couple saws tell, but... they're coming to whisper directly into his fucking or ear hole about the Bristol yeah. school scale <laughs> that's what my head would do dude like just what the fuck? Oh God! Oh Jesus! <laughs> that was a crazy reaction, but it was great. He's like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, he just. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, fair enough. If you're sitting in a car with somebody, and one minute they're okay, and then the next minute their head just fucking exploded. And then we had a great line from David Lynch. Yep, he's dead. Yep, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> great right. little scene there. Um, I like this framing too. Like we got. TP, yeah. yep. Albert, and Gordon. But that was that scene, uh, which is crazy. And then we had... Oh, God. We're getting to the scene, Wilson, that you and I discussed a lot. <laughs> um, but it's... It's the family meeting, kind of like... Mm -hmm. uh, them just discussing their qualms with each other and things like that, and how to be better. Why are you being a dumb asshole? Stop it. This is definitely not some boys being silly. No. I was going to say, this is, might be some of the silliest boys I've seen. But <laughs> Okay, wow. the silliness comes when um, oh, yeah, no. Bobby... Shots are fired. Yeah, but shots are fired and Bobby's got to go talk to this f f weird kid just staring at him. gun in the car! Cool dude. Look at that dude. <laughs> Look, that's a silly boy right there. Look chillest dude right here. Mm -hmm. No, he's not chill. This is very unchill. He's looking know, pretty dude. posted up. Like, what's up? Looks like the most chill. Yeah, dude he's I've posted ever seen. up, but he's he's he is like like a fucking longbow. Any more pressure gets put on him, he's gonna snap. You you say the I mean, wrong he thing. He already did, gonna... dude. He gave yeah. him a good you know death wish. Yeah. Oh, I <laughs> so... thought you were talking to me, Bronson. <laughs> Bronson. Bronson. Death wish. We got the same thing with the dad, just chill as a cucumber, and the, the Look, life is just. It going was just nuts. a fucking gun, just a forty-five magnum. Just the boy being silly. And then we had just this let Holcomb. the boy be fucking silly with the gun. This Holcomb character shows up on the scene. He's like, "I got the call," and he's acted really weird. I don't yeah. get his deal. He's a, it's yeah. an interesting choice. But then we move on to this <laughs> lovely oh lady and her son. Daughter or something? Child. Yeah, child. Child. Granddaughter? We haven't seen his... <laughs> she hasn't seen her uncle in months! This is so bizarre. And then she just goes, ah, ah, for ah. like two minutes as this vomiting kid just... Is a zombie. Rises up like... like a zombie and like... Yeah. Comes after Bobby and Bobby's like, yeah, okay. He... He doesn't say a word. He literally doesn't respond. He's just like... He grew up in Twin Peaks, dude. He's fine. <laughs> His dad is, you know, Major Briggs. Yeah, I was going to so say, it. Fucking, he got me Major Briggs dreams he's had about his dad. Major just Briggs, like, pulled him aside as a child and was like, Robert, I need to prepare you for the day that you will be uh, accosted by a woman and her child. <laughs> you are some crazy shit. Barf up pea soup is... all over you. Uh, there will be pea soup all over <laughs> so yeah not just, your mother's recipe just wanted to mention this scene because it was very bizarre and uh yeah just one of those what the fuck moments 
what are you supposed to do with this information given by this show? Bop, bop, bop. All right, this is where we get, if you remember, this is where we get into the interesting lore of um, different symbology and things like that. Um, so do you recall what Hawk says about the the grain? It's a map. Or it's, the, uh, the wheat? Yeah, the, it's what? supposed to symbolize... Uh... Supposed to symbolize fertility or something. Yep, you're right. It's turning black. Yep. And um, he talked about that, which is fire. Um, but he. Yeah, and then there's the black fire. Yeah, he talks that this fire just means like technology, or like it doesn't need to mean what it is symbolized. He there. says he says energy, like electricity. Energy. Yeah, so it could mean different things. It's neither so. good or bad. It's it's the intent of the person, you know, making the fire, using the fire. And then he discusses that the antithesis of that is like the black fire and he rip like points out this little character. What's, what's that up there? <laughs> He's like we don't talk about that. So. He says like there's a shadow over the world or something like that. It's like we don't he, speak no, he of just it. Like, he's like, that? You don't even want to know about that. Yeah, you don't want to know about that. You don't want to know anything about it. Something like that. Just a silly goose, dude. Yeah. Again, chubby goose. Always being sillies. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of silliness happening here. <laughs> That's so, the Hawk, theme of Twin Peaks, dude. It's just boys being silly. There's silliness where you're going. Mm -hmm. Hawk gets another call from Log Lady. Um telling him good. the actual name of this episode which is there's fire where you're going um, after yeah. they just were talking about fire mm -hmm. um, Fucking cold ones up dude cold yeah. ones for Logger cold ones for Margaret Maggie and then they what was what was happening here again Wilson do you recall what they were doing to yes so they uh, B Gordon and Albert were I forget specifically what they were discussing but they were basically uh like having a discussion in front of Diane to like feed her information because they were already suspicious that she might have been a mole of some kind. So they're yeah. they're having a conversation in front of her, uh, and then like she leaves. Yeah, they're like, "Oh, go get us more smokes or some shit." And then when she leaves, they're like, hus, 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 hus. <laughs> "But yeah, I forget. Yes. I forget exactly what they're discussing." Like. It's just some hasafasas, really. Yeah, uh, there's hasafasing happening. Oh, and the coffee and the donuts, maybe. But it is, it's it's kind of interesting how, like, Diane, the real Diane, was, at one point, a person who, like, these FBI agents confided in or, like, gave their trust to. And she may not have been an agent herself, but she was probably, you know pretty helpful in, in helping them facilitate their jobs and do their shit. You're so, pretty helpful. I, well, thank you, Eric. I appreciate that, buddy. You're um, I just think that it's interesting that, like, Diane is kind of, like, on the out of that position. This, mm -hmm. Whether this is the real Diane or not, Diane is, like, leaving that position while Tammy is, like, coming in. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and she maybe sees uh, Tammy as a threat or, you know, like, I do my job better than you. Maybe. I mean, they've 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 done specific things to show that uh, Gordon and Albert are like slowly opening the doors or letting Tammy in a little bit more. Right. I mean, so would you stuff? Would you trust leaving your job in the hands of someone named Tammy? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Is that short for Tamara? Um. Tammy. I suppose one Tamara, of those. Tamara, are... like. Yeah. Um, or is that a, is that a birth certificate decision? Like, no, my kid's gonna be fucking Tammy. Oh, I'm sure there's like there's a kid we went to school with whose name was Alex, and uh, not Alexander. I called, him Ale I called him Alexander one time, and he's like, "No, my name is Alex." I was like, "On your birth certificate?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah, like, all right." Like what? Like okay. Petey or Billy or Andy? Yeah, yeah, uh, but. That, that was an interesting scene. Yeah, for sure. It was. They were trying to play a little game of cat and mouse with Diane. Yeah, even even in in this scenario where we're still seeing like one side of 
like the, the we're seeing the good side, but there's still like some spy activity and an intrigue going on within that. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Bushnell, Mr. Bushnell and the, the Dougie, and Dougie Jones, Dougie Jones shows the boy, up. The boy, it's like the silliest boy, dude. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get back on track with the silliness. We had the silliness Love where the, the Mitchum Bros are told by um, what's his face Sizemore that Dougie put like has a issue with them or something like he just doesn't like he, you. He was the one who he was the one who's going after them. Flagged yeah. their yeah. arson yeah. thing as like uh, you know possibly fraudulent or like he's Sizemore trying to sell them on the idea that that. Dougie is the one who is actively, yeah, going after them. But Bushnell says, like, oh, I had the, I gave him the old Bushnell one, two, or whatever. Like, <laughs> he says something like that where he had this scheme up his wrist or up his sleeve, you know? <laughs> he looks like he's in this. I was just going to say, he looks like in this, and he just like farted and thought he <laughs> thinks he's getting away with it, but it was really loud. It looks like he's about to say the word. Peach. He's really about to go. Peach. <laughs> Peach. Um, so yeah, we he, he made good on the scheme. Um, uh, I forgot how much it was worth, but it was a lot of money. So, Dougie or forty million, something yeah, like that. Yeah, something crazy. Insurance payout. So Dougie's yeah. task. Twenty. To twenty. Go... I think it was twenty. Even that, yeah, it's crazy. That's still ridiculous. <laughs> we got a blurry, blurry show. Where to, Mr. Jones? I'll be blurry the whole way. <laughs> Dougie Jones, Mr. Jackpots. So Mr. Jackpots. We have a weird um, Viva Las Vegas montage happening. Yeah. Mitch and Bros meet up with Dougie in the desert, and he's like, What's, what's in that you? box? Do you know what's in that box? According to me, Jim There's Belushi. One specific thing. What's in the box? Uh, do you recall what's in there, Brasha? What's in there? Um, Mr. Jackpots. Um,. Hmm, what's in the box? Dude, I don't fucking remember, dude. It's been a week. It's a pie. A cherry pie. And then... Is it? <laughs> <laughs> what a, what a frame. Oh, yeah, it is 30 million. <laughs> yeah, look at that, dude. So, that's according to should, Jim... That's how they... you should react to getting that much money, according to Jim. According to Jim, he just got cast <laughs> as the blood-starved beast. Cool. <laughs> Looks like he's about to suck a dick, but... Vort of the Boreal Valley. <laughs> okay, so Was we that got... Was <laughs> <laughs> So they got the money, and they're super pumped, as you can <laughs> see here. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. They take him out to dinner, and the Mr. Jackpots gets some more, Jackpots. you know... Accolades from the Oh, you the get the old lady, lady. from the Tenace of D music video? Yep. <laughs> A nice little scene that she's like, this guy is great. He, he's such he's a so special guy. Him, Mr. Jackpot. Racked with arthritis, dude. Check it out. Yeah, but she, so excited she got to meet up with her son again, and that was kind of nice. She put her life mm -hmm. back on track. and We just talked briefly about you know how Dougie gets into people's lives just by being a pure being and he changes people's lives for the better and the Mitchum brothers see it this lady sees it and tells the Mitchum brothers that he's special in some kind of way that's a good boy Mr. Jackpot like, the innocents around him mm -hmm. get, yeah. get good things and the wicked people get fucking punished like um, like like uh, Ike the Spike yep like Ike the Spike like um, uh, I mean the Mitchum the Mitchum brothers are, are kind of being like serve some sort of justice in one way or another by the end of things like they're, yes. they're kind of shown the light but the tim roth character and the you know that true like duo that show up they get their comeuppance too dealing with mm -hmm. the dougie fucking i love his body language here too is, <laughs> is like shoulders down a little bit his chin up and out just kind of looks like a you know just like a huh just like a loose Loose goose, silly boy. I don't know who you are. <laughs> who are you? Yeah, he's just like, oh, this is a person. And they, who is this person? They really appreciate Hello, nice what lady. she's saying. And then we have Candy 
stays off in the distance. Andy, Sandy, and Mandy, or whatever the fuck it is. You yeah. got it. Hell yeah, then. I forgot what she was saying there, but yeah. Something stupid. <laughs> Damn good pie. They eat the pie oh, there's... together and they toast. Hell oh, yeah, Her. they do, dude. Dougie hears a song being like played on the piano. That's right. It was like a really heavily influenced by Angelo. Yeah, I was gonna say it's it's battle of Manti as fuck. I think I think it was like I don't know if it was Laura's theme, but it, it sounded or like a, a just a rearrangement it. of a yeah, yeah, or like a motif or something. Right. Interpolation. Well, that's pretty much interior. It. We end we <laughs> end bad. on that piano player playing that Laura's esque theme, I guess. I was so hopeful that that was Battle of Manti, but it's not. Right. It makes me so sad. But yeah, that's our episode, and we'll we kind of blazed through this one because we kind of hit the wrong record button. So we went through well, it yeah, at a brisk place. What do you pace. What do you mean we? Sorry, that was me. My bad. <laughs> my flub. I'm just yeah. kidding. But yeah, um, I'm not. We'll be back with the next episode. The next episode is called. Do you know? He's nuts. And I said, in my pants. I said it Do last time. Silly. It's a. It's a. What the I arm, know you did. What the arm says. Do you recall what he says? What does the arm say? That's uh, rock. He says, "Oh, shit." So that's the next. What, episode. Num- what number is that? Episode twelve. Thirteen. Oh dang! 12. Wow. That's rock. So this is the one where so we two, think Rocho. Show... Two thirds there. Yeah. This might be the last one I saw. Might be. Well, then Potential let's it was 14, but get I it. think it was 12. Well, let's see what it the lies in store for us in it. I don't know. Okay, we'll go let's into see it. see what lies in Manelli. In it, around it, all over it, under it, over it. All let's see it. what comes through that Oozing. little portal in Buckhorn, South Dakota. What let's, oozes out of that portal? Comes through the portal. That big, big old hole. What oozes out of that hole? Also, <laughs> everybody keep continuing the discussion going our most recent video on this which was laura is the one uh, it's gotten crazy views so honestly yeah. keep the conversation going about yeah, this about show it. and um yeah leave comments we'll talk address them shit. we we addressed it Pretty in sure. that episode so we'll do the same if you keep a conversation we'll bring out an envelope going. and address it <laughs> we'll address it we'll mail it stamp it we'll give it a kiss yeah and we're, we're gonna do we'll the things silly boys about it we're going to do the thing that James could not do in seasons one and two. We're going to use our words to communicate with each other and not just like get on a motorcycle and go be pouty. Exactly. I was going to say just be broichy as fuck because James could never be broichy as fuck. Dude. No, James could never be broichy. He doesn't know the meaning of the word. All right. I'm just trying to recall what else happened in this. I don't think we're missing a whole lot. Let's say it, dude. Else. We, yeah. yeah, like we, we, we kind of got it all. Stuff. I'm not seeing nothing that we yeah. didn't talk about. We good, fam. Hey, fam. We good. All right. So we'll be back with the next one. Let's rock.